This is James, and today we're going to be looking at uh, the civilian version of what a lot of our troops in combat are carrying right now. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with the old M16, and with time they have progressed to have what's called the M4. So this firearm that you see here is a civilian version, which is basically an AR-15. Uh, we call this an M4 variant. It has a collapsible stock similar to an M4. It's got a forward grip. It's got rails around it so you can light, light, uh, mount some lights, some optics, lasers, things of that such. And what I really like about this particular one, I'm a traditionalist folks, and anybody knows a marine with an iron sight, a couple hundred yards, easily can hit center mass. Um, so I personally go with the iron sight versus some of the optics and things you'll see out there in the market today. So this is for your traditionalist that actually knows how to shoot, not a guy that needs a little red dot to point at a, point at a center mass. So the first thing we're going to do when inspecting this weapon, so let's make sure that it is clear. We're going to drop the magazine out with the magazine release right here. We are going to pull back the slide slash bolt. And as you see, one of those 5.56 NATO rounds popped out. So at this point, we are clear to inspect the gun, no round in the chamber, and we can safely proceed with this demonstration. So now I'm going to take a seat here. and um, show you a couple features on this gun. So let me grab that nade around real quick. One of the cool things about this gun that you'll find is when you're out in battle, um, you just can't carry around your common, common tool kits with your Allen wrenches and your, your uh, you know, screwdrivers and such. So they've designed this weapon that it can be fully field stripped with just one of these 5.56 five, nade rounds. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by, there's a pin, this is called the lower receiver, this is the upper. There is two pins here that connect the upper and the lower, and as you'll see, we'll take this needle around here, push that pin out, push that pin out, pop them, the gun is now separated. Now, folks, this lower receiver here, you would not want to disassemble this any farther unless you are a gunsmith. Any of the trigger mechanism here in the springs, you can get in there to clean it out a little bit with some Q-tips and such, but you do not want to disassemble this any further, unless you really know what you're doing. Now, the next part is getting the upper disassembled so we can get in here and see the integral parts of this gun. We're gonna drop this, the bolt back, end up with this piece in your hand. Now again, folks, the upper here is fully disassembled. Again, unless you're a gunsmith or someone that really knows what you're doing, you're not going to want to disassemble any farther than this. Now, this is where it gets a little trickier, not too hard. We'll go back to our 5.56 NATO round. There is a little pin here that you're going to need to pop, which is going to help us get the firing pin and this mechanism separated so we can get in here to field strip and clean this. So we're going to pop this little cotter pin out, set that aside. At this point, the firing pin will drop out, which is the actual pin that activates the bullet. We're going to take this little uh, piece here, another pin, switch it at a 90 degree angle so it clears, pop that out, and then we're going to take this piece out. So now at this point, we are fully disassembled, field stripped, and ready for cleaning. There's one more part that you can take out. There is a little tiny pin here that you can push out. There's a little spring assembly in here, which helps when it actually pulls the, uh, it's the ejector that throws the bullet out of the chamber once it's been fired and pulls the new one in. Um, not really necessary to disassemble that, folks, maybe after a thousand rounds or so, but in this particular case, it's looking pretty good. So at this point, we're fully disassembled. We can go about cleaning the gun. Now we're gonna show you how to put it back together. We are gonna first slide this piece back in. You want to make sure, folks, if you're looking at the top of this piece, where it will slide in the gun, you want the little ejector to be to the right-hand side. So you want to make sure you got that in the proper position. Now again, we're going to drop this pin in so it clears past and drops in the little hole there. Kind of got to jimmy it a little bit. And then we're going to turn that again to a 90-degree angle. At that point, the firing pin will be allowed to slide through the center. And you can actually see it poke out there if you give it a little push, which would actually uh, get the primer going to fire a bullet out. This is the only part, folks, that sometimes once your pens get a little old, like this one's spread out, um, becomes a little tricky. If you do run into issues with not being able to get this pen in, you might want to just talk to your local gun dealer or supplier and get some new ones. These are a very common part. 
But uh, basically, you're going to slide it back into that hole, make sure that it's holding in the firing pin, and then push it all the way through and make sure it's set. So when this final piece is put together, you should be able to see that the uh, ejector there pops back and forth. Not a problem. Firing pin moves freely. And at this point, we are able to put it back together. So we're going to grab our old uh, trusty upper here. We're going to slide this piece back in. There's a little notch on it right there. You don't know if you can see it in the video, but you basically clear that notch, drop it in, and then at that point, it stays in the gun. You're going to want to slide this in. Now it's put together. We're going to grab the lower again. I find, folks, that it's typically easier to put the uh, front pin in first. Usually it takes just a little bit of an angling, pops in, drop the lower down, boom, and now we're put together. So folks, this is, again, AR-15. It is the uh, civilian version. And uh, like we say in all our videos, folks, we are going to lock and load in case the zombies come. Thanks for watching.